Let's take a look at finding the inverse of a matrix. And let's start with this, or take a look at this one. After you see one, you got it. Okay. So we've got A is equal to 182, 51, negative 10, and 4, 1, 3. And this notation you see right here, it says the inverse of A. Well, let's go put this into our calculator first. So I'm going to do a second x and negative 1. That's actually your inverse button, which we'll talk about in a minute. But um, that's how we get into our matrix menu. We'll right arrow twice over to edit, and we'll do enter on A. It's asking us for the size of our matrix, which is uh, rows by columns. So this is a 3 by 3. So I do 3 enter, 3 enter. And then I'll type in each number, pressing enter after each one. So 1 enter, uh, 8 enter, 2 enter, 5 enter, 1 enter, negative 10, enter, 4 enter, 1 enter, and 3 enter. And double check all my numbers. That looks good. So I'll do a second mode to exit out. Okay. Now to get our inverse, we'll do second x and negative 1. Do enter on A, and then we'll push this x and negative 1 button, this inverse button, and then press enter. Now it gives us uh, decimals, and you see these three little dots there. It means you can scroll over and see the rest of it, so we can write our over and see more of our matrix. But we don't want uh, decimals, so I'm just going to do a math, enter, enter, change it to fraction. Okay. Still don't see everything, but that's okay. This is negative 13 over 425, uh, 11 over 85, and negative 1 over 425. And I'm going to scroll over a little bit, so I'll press my right arrow key. And we've got 22 over 425, 1 over 85. And negative 31 over 425. And let me scroll over some more to get my last column. So I'm just pressing right arrow key to scroll over. And we got 82 over 425. And negative 4 over 85. And 39 over 425. And that's our inverse. Now, if we were to multiply that times A, we should get our identity matrix. So if I did times, and then go second x and negative 1, enter on A, and enter again. Diagonal 1, zeros are where else, but we do have some, some uh, rounding issues here. Some, uh, But that's negative 6.6 .6 times 10 to the negative 14, which is 0. Uh, but sometimes you see that uh, when you get when you make up numbers like I do. <laughs> but that's how you find the inverse on uh, T84 plus calculator.